I was born in Philly, raised down South Carolina. Started playing drums down south in church. They kept kicking me off, so I moved to the piano. <laughs> but yeah, that was basics, the basics. Then I came up here and learned that there is more, and it's in detail. Like down there, it's like a slow version of learning. Up here, it's like, you know, they throw you right on. You learn stuff like here and there, little things. Um, I had like one of the best drummers in the world teach me like control and timing and like different little things, placement and learning about, you know, just sim simple and more filling. It's crazy. Well, pre-production for this project is going to be a little bit different and really, really exciting because we're starting this episode off and we don't know what song we're going to do. And it was interesting, over dinner, they were talking with uh, Paris Qualis and learning about the story of Hannibal, which really resonated for J.O. And he said, I want to write a, a new song instead of doing one from our catalog. Hannibal, well, when I heard the story, and I actually, when I came in, I came in late, because they already, Danny and them already had it, like the story, the, the music together. They were working on Facebook at the band in a room playing together and, and just kind of observe what they do. So yeah, so we'll spend a day doing that, just listening, basically, and getting sounds and that kind of stuff. And it's going to be, you know, a fun process, I think, for us to do So I just jumped on the drums. I was just happy to be here, and I just started playing around, and he started playing the song. And to me, the song had, like, a grimy, hard, like, kind of rough feel to it. Then they told me the story. I was like, wow, this is exactly what I was feeling. Yeah. These guys have just, uh, over dinner, an amazing, amazing attitude. Really excited, uh, but what's even more important is they love to be with each other. Um, they truly are brothers. If you if you really want to do what you want to do, you're gonna have to put your all in it. And if you if you're working a job and it's kind of taken away from what you want to do, what I did, I was working my job at the hospital and I actually I kind of just quit. And when you have that sort of chemistry going on, it's it's exciting for us just to be in the presence of it and to witness it. It's going to be really, really exciting. But I realize you know, I'm getting older, so if I don't just jump on this, because every time I, I push a tour away or something, you know, because I'm looking at furthering my other, you know, but um, I was like, I'm not going to take it serious if I'm just playing for fun. And Stitch developed this project uh, from scratch, and it's really interesting, tricky, tricky thing for him, because he developed it to a certain level, and now he's got to let go. So if I'm relying on it, that'll make me like become professional and more in tune with what I'm doing. It's not, I'm not just going to take it for granted. It's going to be a serious thing because I love it. Um, and he was faced with this opportunity, but it's like Stitch. We want to produce the um, band that you're you're uh, developing, but we're going to be producing, and you're going to be a band member. Yeah. Now what does a person usually do in that scenario? Usually their ego gets annoying. They say, no, I'm the producer. I'm the man. But, yeah. Well, you can tell, just by the way, that the other guys talk about him, that they're, they're family. You know, doing whatever is the best for the whole project. He is, but that's so unusual to think that way in this day and age. No matter what happened, no matter, no matter how many people like hate on you or tell you you can't do it, you can do it. Is, do you see, foresee any like struggles with that type of a process? Any potential hurdles? Well, you know, if we weren't so damn good at what we did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, really and truly, this sort of process, when you have a tight time frame, a tight budget, and you have to deliver, and you're going to go into it and say, we're going to see what happens, it's like being on a tightrope without a net under you. We're taking a big chance. Somebody see that just smile, they're like, wow, I must be getting closer. Because they're pulling me down, it's like a bunch of crabs in a basket, but that one crab can actually make it if he catch something to, you know, to pull on to and walk up. So you can make it. Great fun to chase the muse, or actually not chase the muse, but invite the muse into the room, and that's what this is all about. And there is nothing, nothing more exciting yeah. on the planet than that, than what we're about to do. Yeah. Is, is, the only person that can, can stop you is you.